Right. You should be able to see the screen in just a second. Hopefully. Uh, there you go. There it comes up. Uh, yeah, so A's versus is Null. And uh, A's going in as Japan. Null going in as Japan. It is a best of five. Um, with uh, Guatemala being as one of one of the maps they can play, and as well as Zavakan, Serado, Yalu River. So it's, it could be quite an interesting game. And he's done obviously here, Brigadier, well known by everyone basically. Um, no, it says captain, but he's not captain. No, I think is a, a solid lieutenant colonel, as as a rank. Um, he uh, actually no did play in the 2008 Cyber Game, uh, Cyber World Cyber Games uh, LAN. Uh, if anyone was interested about that, he did play along with, alongside H2O and other players. So there's uh, there's some little, uh, bit of info for you about um, about Noel as a player. But obviously, I think these two players pretty decent. Obviously, A's likes to play around a bit. Noel playing in this pink corner on the left here. Did get a wood start as both playing in Japan. It doesn't really matter what the start is. Um, you do need to put the sound up air this is slightly so we can actually hear stuff. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, did get a uh, get a wood start. No, not microing his crates too well there. You want to put two villagers on the uh, on the wood there, uh, at least so you can get an earlier consulate. But uh, we'll have to wait and see who this is. But no, actually going to go down with a shrine first. So not going for a consulate like normal, or maybe he's just dropping twenty wood and going to get a consulate with that, which is uh, actually the wrong way around to do it. As for treasures, this map is quite good for treasures. Uh, the, the colder version, the snow version, has uh, better treasures, if I recall correctly. You're having 300 coin or something ridiculous. But you do see 135 XP there. You do see, I think that was a note, that was a bear cub. That's incredibly good against Japan, uh, in particular, uh, because their monks are pretty weak, actually, in age 2. Um, uh, so you could take them down and stop them getting shrines up. 75 would have been in contention here. A's being a bit slow actually to get it. Is he going to pick it up? No. No one's going to get that. You do have a water on this map, uh, which of course you can utilize. I don't know if Noel is going to. That is an ultra rickshaw, uh, which both players are actually using to scout around. Uh, that's one benefit of Japan. You can you can utilize. You get two ultra rickshaws when you start, and you can utilize that to, to get two. We'll just bring up the chat. There you go. I can see what you guys are saying. Consulate going up for, Japan, uh, for for Noel here. A bit late, as I said. Um, but uh, maybe Noel playing uh, a bit differently. 100 wood there somehow. Oh, we've got 75 wood. So he's actually played into it quite nicely. Going to get an extra an extra, um, an extra, extra shrine up because of that uh, 75 wood. He's just using his uh, explorers to walk around. Only getting in his second shrine as soon as he got that consulate up. And that Portuguese consulate, of course, is up. Oh, which is was back in base. Let's have a look at the decks. No, deck is bugged. We'll have a look at Aces first. Does have Mountain Warrior in his, in his deck here, uh, which for anyone who didn't know, does increase the uh, increases both the damage and the hit points of a Japanese monk there by 50%, which is a decent chunk when you when you have a look at how much damage they actually do. Do 8 damage, they end up doing 12 times uh, 3 versus Guardians and uh, having 375 HP, which is quite nice. Mountain Warrior also now coming in straight away, and you'll see from, from what it also does, it boosts the... Uh, the amount of food you get, or amount of, uh, well, basically it doubles the amount of whatever you get from treasures. So A is going to get basically an extra 90 food from that treasure. If he picks this up, going to get an extra 100 food. Um, it's not the best map for it, but uh, yeah, I mean, 135 XP here is really nice to pick up. Yeah, 270 XP. Uh, what else can we see here? Urquatom Hawk doesn't change, nor does that native scale. It's only uh, XP treasures and uh, resource treasures, but he is going to easily pick up this. You can see from the, the stats on his explorers, 12 attack versus um, versus guardians it goes goes up to 36 because of the multiplier and uh, 375 HP is really, really nice. Uh, as for the rest of the decks, it does have Onin War in there, which is uh, actually quite a nice card, but you don't see too often. Uh, it's basically just more siege on the Japanese uh, infantry there, uh, as well as uh, good favor agreements. Three boats also in there, as well as uh, 10 ninjas. And uh, actually, five Ronin. I, I like these two cards myself. You can ship it to a Daimyo and be pretty annoying. Noel's deck, actually, relatively standard. Did ship three boats first. Bit of an FI deck here. Does have Yambu Sama in there, seven Yambu Sama, which I quite like against the sort of flaming arrow mass, which Japan tends to do in a in a, in a um, Japanese mirror. But yeah, pretty standard deck there. No seven villagers though. Does have um, does have intervention as well as four Yambu Sama in a tree. That's quite peculiar. You don't normally see that. But yeah, A is going to pick up this uh, 270 XP treasure, which is actually going to be huge. I uh, didn't pick up the, the bear, uh, but uh, you'll see that uh, XP 135 XP will t change into 270, which is uh, 
a, basically a shipment at this point, actually, or just a, well, most of a shipment. Um, uh, although that native scout does spot it, maybe Noel's explorers are quite close. No, they're not. They're way over here picking up 75 food himself. And uh, he's going to pick that up, get a shrine down. But native scouts just could be a bit annoying. But of course, these uh, these units have uh, actually quite a, quite an attack, six attack in in melee, and uh, they're going to take down that Kickaboo scout. Two villagers going forward for Aza. What's going on here? Aza, I think, going to go a bit a bit aggressive here. Noel going for three boats, three boats, and neither playing going for sort of a standard build. Aza even going for the the trading post in Well, I didn't actually see that. So uh, yeah, so both players actually going for three boats. Noel ahead on Eco, only just by the slightest amount actually. Um, that's because A is obviously on two more shrines. Going for a barracks mid map, I quite like that. It allows you to get a bit of pressure on. A no even going for the greedy Cree trading post here, so neither player going for a standard build. Uh trading post obviously on EP, and that trading post do give about half the amount of XP as a, as a normal trading post on a TP line. So that crew trading post is actually particularly nice for Japan. It allows you to sort of boost your early economy. For only two hundred wood and uh, and a decent amount of food. Um A's just scouting around here. Damio coming out for A's, so incredibly aggressive. He's going for Damio first card. And uh, it's just going to utilize that probably as a stable as well. And uh, no, actually, surprisingly slow to age up. I didn't have any villagers on that to Shogu. Um, how much? 20 siege on these um, on these units here. That's quite significant. As well as, uh, uh, especially on that barracks, it might actually not go up. So the, the card which A is shipped uh, increases the attack and hit points of those explorers as well as, um, I don't know what A is doing here, he's just being annoying with a Damio. Um, Minuteman pops from, from now I quite like this, um, trying to get down those explorers, won't take that down with Damio, 5 Ashigaru is now being shipped with Damio in his base, um, a villager going down, no maybe not. And uh, this is really, really aggressive with 5 Ashigaru coming in here. Minutemen actually might be a bit early for Noel. If you look at units in queue, Noel does have some, some Ashies in queue. But this pressure is quite difficult to deal with. Um, and uh, A's slightly behind on Eco. But again, he, he has the ability to, to pick up some other treasures. I think there's some left. Actually, there's zero treasures on the map left, which you can pick up as from that bear. And uh, actually, the, the Damio had to go back here yeah, because of its 17 HP. I didn't see that. So low HP that Damio. If that sentry gets a single hit on it, it's dead. Thankfully, it does have faster speed, 6.5 speed. Slightly slower than the Hus. Hus being 6.75, I believe. So um, so that Damio does get away. Uh, these shrines in Noel's base aren't going to go down, I don't think. But this, uh, this early pressure from A's did get a, a, get a decent amount of damage off. But I don't know if it's really secured in the game too well here. Um, Noel... Uh, being able to ship five ashes is uh, soon going to have another ashy bash as well. Five ashes as well, probably five ashes in uh, in cube area will come out in just a second. And uh, actually, Noel's going to be a, be ahead on both military unit population and it's just going to clean up these ashes in, in its base. And uh, A's, he, he hasn't got that second crew TP which Noel does have. Noel has the ability to get basically five villagers out, which is nice. Um, also, there's some other upgrades in here which are quite nice for Japan. Um, that's not very nice at all, but uh, this one's quite nice. Twenty-five percent uh, cheaper shrines, and when you uh, when you go Kami and uh, and the shrine from Japan, uh, not the shrine, the, the Portuguese concept from Japan, it's incredibly cheap, actually ridiculously cheap uh, for shrines. I think it's like fifty fifty wood or something stupid. Uh, Six hundred wood now coming in for A, so he stopped his aggression, uh, and uh, and no, not in a, not in a bad spot. He does have some market upgrades. Uh, building rotator, I think, was used. Yeah, Noel's cheating. Um, obviously, communists always cheat. So, um, yeah. Noel shouldn't be using the building rotator. He, he is an admin of the tournament, I think, anyway. But it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think anyone's going to complain. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty standard pretty standard stuff from, from Noel, at least. And uh, A is actually being the one who's, uh, who's booming behind this. So, he, he's able to get those shrines up. He's... Um, is actually uh, about equal on economic unit population, but no going for four villagers here does bolster his economy. And uh, and A is actually only just getting in Yakuza lanterns and civil servants as well as that water wheel upgrade. Whilst uh, actually no only having uh, the, uh, I, I don't know, something pantries, I think it's Hamati pantries, I think it's called. Um, 
And it's actually going into Yumi production, which I don't think is what you normally do in a Japanese mirror. I think what you normally do in a Japanese mirror uh, as A's here is you, is you go actually for, for just mass Ashes. Uh, because uh, Yumi's are good, but uh, Ashes can just sort of run up on you and just kill you very, very easily. And it's quite difficult to pump out a decent amount of Yumi's whilst uh, keeping up your shrine production. Um, which uh, you want to try and do, but there's another five Ashes. Would like to see Ashi attack coming in here for Null and uh, and taking, or even a Daimyo actually at some point and taking the fight. But Daimyo is still low HP, 200, 200 HP, which could get taken out. It's a best of five. Anyone asking? And if this Daimyo goes down, does Null spot it? Null does spot it. That Daimyo is almost certainly going to go down. There you go. That's huge actually, as that was sort of a benefit Azank had, and. Um, Again, equal populations in terms of economic unit population. A's slightly ahead, but uh, that Kree outpost still is there. Maybe you could even add in some actually add in some Kree trackers. They're particularly good actually against uh, based against Ashigoras. I don't know what I'm typing here. I guess that works. Good type best of five. Um, and uh, these Ashigoras are actually going to uh, sort of cut off A's troops here. And uh, we don't see Ashi attack coming in. Again, would like to see it. Uh, does boost those units a bit. Jap Japanese consulate is in for 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 um, null. A is going to use one of his fishing boats to get these units off. I think there's some. Uh, I believe at least it might be a different map. Oh, I'm typing up here. How do I stop typing? There you go. Let's press escape. Uh, I believe that's the wrong one. Control Shift F is how you take take it off. Oh, there's not. It's a different map. It's a map on RE where. Uh, there's crate spawns on here. But uh, A's going to be sort of walking around here trying to get some villagers in a, a Null's base. Does take a couple out, actually. If we look at the units lost, three units lost for Null. <laughs> um, and uh, actually, losing another settler. Ashigo and Musketeer attack does come in. So these Ashes are really good. 29 attack. Uh, sort of comparable with uh, probably with Sea Poise at this point. Uh, with obviously some additional speed, but um, he's just getting locked down in his own base. A's, what is A's doing? A's is just massing Ashis himself. Uh, doesn't have the Ashigo attack card in, but does come in right away. Um, and uh, I don't know who wants to take this fight. If if A's can take it, or, or no even can take it early, uh, at least especially this fight here, no no wins again. Uh, there's no no coming off that basically. But uh, actually, that barracks going down is quite significant. There's not oh, there's two in base for A, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, those sheep actually aren't being utilised either. Uh, two of them just off off kilter, which isn't too good. A uh, bit of a fight here. Um, no one wants to take this. If you can pay attention. Um, almost certainly he wants to take it. He's, he's got the military unit advantage quite significantly. Um, a lot of these units here are getting are getting whittled down here. Don't like the addition of Yumi's. Uh, I think at uh, this composition, you just want to go pure Ashi. Um, uh, although a batch of best heroes here sort of signifies that Noel shouldn't be taking this fight. Damio coming in, I like this. Uh, we'll catch. Actually, he could probably go up there and just kill the Yumi's himself, which would be quite nice. But it would show his uh, presence of a Damio. And um, and Noel actually on. Uh, has he even made any Cree economic units? No Cree made from Noel. Would like to see him make a couple. Make five Cree. Um, and, and sort of bolster uh, economic unit population behind this does have the Yumi's here which are going to catch off some of these Yumi's um, and uh, again I mean I think this is in Noel's favour although somehow he's behind in score it, this must be in Noel's favour oh it's because he's stacking uh, stacking resources there Aze is aging uh, and if he gets uh, his uh, upgrades in, as well as the as the, the golden pavilion, which I assume that is, um, which one is it? Unit, it's text menu research. Yeah, a uh, golden pavilion, uh, which gives uh, I think ten percent boost to to Ashi attack. Um, uh, he is going to be in trouble. We won't have a Damio, so it'll be about equal. But uh, Noel does need to push it, either push or age, uh, and uh, allowing A's to get up himself uh, and massing yourself isn't the correct choice, really. But we'll have to see how it works out. Aze does have some interesting cards in a tree, of course. Does have a Ashigaru concern, which is really nice. Bolster your forces. Two Flaming Arrows would be really nice. Um, obviously, against just an Ashi Mass, they do quite well. Um, five Ronin. 
uh, surprisingly, if if you go over to to the side and try and sort of snare the ashes, do very very well. No pushing in here, but you can see how good these, some of these units are. Um, I don't know where uh, these are the, the ashes down here. Thirty attack. I uh, don't have Damien on them, so they're slightly behind. But uh, once discipline actually go comes in, uh, and uh, these units from the top come down, um, this fight's going to be aces to take really. And uh, sitting that shrine, taking it down. Even both players actually not on high shrine pop at all. Ace doesn't want to be taking this fight. He doesn't want to be uh, sacrificing his best heroes. Or uh, did actually sacrifice, I think, a couple of ashes or a batch of ashes. Oh, Damio needs to be careful here. Um, doesn't want to get caught out. Um, no. Uh, no, just what? Yeah. That's. That's pretty sad. I think no one in this game if he didn't do that. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, that's just lost another game. That's, um... Yeah, that's not the greatest. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know what Noah can do here. He's so far behind, it's, it's pretty insane, actually. Even having to send six of the coal one, uh, coin one A's didn't. No, the, the markets are rotated. You can, you can see because they're on a linear progression, right? Not really linear progression, what am I saying? Um, they're linear, so the market would have to be like this, or the uh, it would have to look like this. Uh, comparatively, I think Knowles is different. Or maybe he hasn't rotated, maybe I'm just being stupid. Um, but yeah, Knowles lost. There's, I don't think there's any way Noel can come back here. It does have the pavilion going up. Obviously, does have the ability to send eight ashes, but losing that many ashes is, is so unfortunate. But I think Noel's uh, maybe thrown away the game here when he was winning. And uh, actually, he's even getting in paper cartridges, so his ashes are pretty insane. 36 attack on him. And he's not even on the attack, but he's on the strength uh, one, which gives him more HP. He's going to utilize some Yumi's, some Fleming Owls at the back here. A shipping nose. Uh, Ashi's coming out. Doesn't have just a and Ashi and yeah, Noel's, Noel's gonna lose most of his economy here, even if he wins the fight. Uh, which he won't. And that Daimyo trying to get in the back, trying to take down the Fleming Owls, but isn't able to. Gonna have pull here. But uh, I don't think it's gonna go too well. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the fight. I think he's winning the fight here, but he's going to be so far behind in the economy, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's won the fight, but uh, he has lost the game, in essence. And you can see that by the score 107 to uh, Yeah, I don't really know what, what uh I don't really know what's going on there, honestly. <laughs> um apparently no hates the game. Let's have a look at the post game. No actually producing more more units. Um than than A's. But uh, I think uh, letting A's get with this uh the uh what's it called discipline actually goes. Uh, as well as just well running your units into Aza's units uh, wasn't the greatest idea, in my opinion. But uh, again, Noel is a good player. Noel's a really good player. So, um, is he so down? Maybe he still may be down. See, Harrison said uh, Noel can come back if he researches great coats, which is an impossibility for the Asian sim. So that's a joke there if anyone was realizing it. Um, yeah.
Thank you for Chappy0204 for, uh, for following, as well as Tricky Sneaky for following. Uh, oh, it's back up. Nice. Oh, I don't want to join yet. I want to wait until I was in. Um, we do have the map sets, which are quite interesting. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's I'll just paste this to Null so we can see. Um, actually, no, I'll just wait. Fuck it. I have to wait for Null to join uh, before I join. Um, I think it's newer championship rules. Yeah, the, the score thing I changed, Daniel. Uh, I added text into it. There's the podium playing instead of null. That's uh, that's smart. So, uh, so uh, the way the tournament works is whoever plays, uh, whoever loses gets to choose from their map pool. So, no one can play Guatemala, Indonesia, or Wadmalor, which are all water maps actually. Uh, Guatemala is pretty cool, and uh, if A's, if Noel plays uh, Aztec, it would be even even cooler because I know what he's gonna do. But um, let's see what Noel does. He is uh, Noel's definitely better than a captain, as I said. He's probably lieutenant colonel, uh, going up to colonel level when he was when he was a lot better, I guess. Um, but uh, he can still play Japan. A's cannot play Japan if I recall correctly. Um, but, uh, thank you, Poco Domain 12, for uh, for following ESOC TV. Uh, whilst we have a bit of downtime where Noel chicks, uh, chooses a map or whatever, I will tell you about the uh, the tournament which is coming up. Starting um, on the first of August, it's a weekend tournament. It is the the Smurf tournament. Uh, Guatemala coming in here for now. So the Smurf tournament, ESOC has put in four hundred dollars. So the total prize pool is now five hundred dollars. Um, uh, actually, I was talking to Noel about that. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a betting for it, and uh, effectively have uh, fifty dollars for betting, fifty dollars for the player who isn't chosen uh, as much. And uh, four hundred dollars between the, the players who actually play, obviously. Um, but uh, A's going for Spanish. Yeah, he's going for Spanish on Guatemala. Quite a good map for for Spain, actually. Um, allows you to go a bit of water, I guess. Um, and uh, and no, I wanted to play Aztec, but I don't think he play Aztec. Does he even have an Aztec sieve? He does have an Aztec sieve. Does he have a deck for it? Let's have a look. Team land, team water. I guess. Oh, did he does have decks, but they're not very good. Um, this is like a this is like a team deck, I guess. This is also not a great deck, but um, he's gonna lock Spain. Yes. And no to count. So Noel's color is pink here, but it's actually green because he has a mod. I'm not smoking. It's just I have a lighter and playing around with it. See, I, I only smoke. Uh, I only smoke uh, sporadically. So again, Guad uh, oh China even coming in. Quite a strong pick versus Spain. Although Spain can do quite a lot against China. Uh, Rod Lancer uh, is quite hard to uh, to deal with as, Ch as China, especially if the person who is is doing Rod L Lancer is actually um, is able to micro. Um, but uh, yeah, Guatemala. I'll go through this map a bit, as it is quite interesting. Yeah. So Guatemala is a map which is really, really good for sieves which like to go early water or a couple of or a couple of boats because it has four different ponds which are easily defendable basically, and um, enables you to actually get uh, these two minky whales. 
uh, in each pond. Uh, so if you were just to put what eight, uh, sixteen boats or eight boats in each pond, you could get every single uh, every single whale you wanted to. But it is, I believe, is that a wood start? Um, no, it's not. It's, a, it's just a food start. So no, not getting the best start here. A is actually getting a better start at the two. Uh, Spain in the bottom here. But uh, the reason why Noel chose China on this map, I have an inkling. Right, there's a. This is only map which, uh, and out of any sort of map, it has the old Aztec settlement from RV. Obviously, in RV, this uh, this tech isn't actually very good because the explorers aren't great. But for 200 wood and 200 coin, you can get this Aztec uh, initiation uh, technology, which gives you 100% hit points and 100% damage on your explorers. Also, you have these uh, weird units, these Aztec Eagle Warriors, which uh, have the old stats for skirmishers, so they have no negative versus um, versus cavalry, and also have six speed. But this this tech acts as tech initiation on the on the Chinese explorer. If I can find him, uh, gets him up to 900 HP and four, four, 14 attack. And uh, obviously it scales with age, so it's actually pretty insane. Um, um, but a uh, bit of a contention here. Pershiki. I think he trained some dogs. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, someone tamed a jaguar. So A is actually trained three dogs, but two disciples being trained. Uh, dogs beat disciples handily, but that Pershiki explorer is probably going to go down in just a second. Um, which is quite important. You don't you don't want to lose your explorer in Spain, basically. Three settlers coming in for A's. Um, I'm just going to zoom in on this. Where's that uh, coyote? Or oh, actually, A's winning the fight with his dogs. That's pretty huge. Mr. Zang going down. That's, that's not good. Um, A's deck, pretty standard, actually, for A's. I think that's probably the most standard deck I've seen for A's. It does have schooners in there. It does have the uh, rendering plant card, as well as, for some reason, Fentix Gold 1v1, which isn't great. But um, comparatively, uh, yeah, pretty standard deck. Noel's deck, pretty weird deck actually. Does <laughs> okay, I like Noel's deck. Noel's, Noel has uh, snatched the pebble here, and uh, snatched the pebble is um, oops, oopsie daisy. Snatched the pebble is uh, basically the European Explorer version uh, for the uh, for Noel, and uh, Noel actually going for. Uh, in East Indiaman here. So he does have that, which is basically a dock, which is actually quite good for China on a non TP star. I quite like it. Uh, basically makes fishing boats 50 wood and gives you 200 wood as well. Uh, I do need to update the score. Um, so yeah, the score is 1 0 Azak. As I was saying, this gives you a dock, which uh, Noel put over here, if you can see. Um, Azamp going up with pretty standard stuff for Spain on a, on a watermark going screen a second. But what's what's interesting here is, is Noel has some, some weird cards here. Right? He has Native Warrior hit points, which actually changes Native Warrior's speed, um, which is 10%. Um, so actually, that's significant. It that makes Eagle Warrior 6.6 .6 speed, which I think is faster than Huss, or about the same speed as Huss. Um, Native Warrior attack is really nice. It, it apparently decreases the train time. These are incredibly weird cards compared to the European ones. At thirty percent, is, is pretty significant. Snatch the pebble, as I said, is really really good. Uh, gives them a roundhouse cake and also a walk of rice paper, which gives you two. Um, yeah, and as Daniel said, you can you can ship port, the port explorer card on this map and have insane insane explorers. But um, I will see what Noel does. Doesn't have Mister Zhang up. Did actually train. Some sort of military. I think he has a military. No, he doesn't. A's going forward as well. Really forward, actually, with his villager. Uh, so A's going to be a bit pressured for for Noel. Noel going for some from ships uh, over here on his dock, and uh, Mr. Zhang is still down. So he he hasn't been able to scout. It hasn't been able to go on for a trading post. Uh, would like to see him go for this trading post, uh, even because well, to be honest, these these units are terrible. These Aztec Eagle warriors are terrible. Um, as well as these Jaguar Warriors. These Jaguar Warriors, I think, do 10 times 2 versus cavalry. They're, they're abysmal units. Um, actually, the Nuka the versions, basically, on uh, on on Tad. But these Eagle Warriors can be pretty cool. You can use them to uh, to kite kite units to death, basically. Um, Mr. Zanks being still down is, is pretty sad. He's, no, he's not going to scout this barracks, not going to scout the outpost where I can go forward. And uh, he's actually even going up with the porcelain tower, which um, I know is a Sir Musket favorite, uh, favorite, but um, yeah, this isn't good. 
uh, against this. I mean, Porcelain Tower is not too bad. He is chopping a lot of wood, which allows him to get some fishing boats out. But uh, Null is, is going for quite an eco heavy, slow build, uh, which isn't great. Yeah, no is missing a Mandarin Duck Squad. That's that's pretty bad. Does have uh does have that food kind of now, which I quite like. But uh, A's gonna be sending in these dogs, playing a bit like Perashiki, if you will. Um actually I wonder if A's does that. No, he's not. He's, he's training musketeers, so of course he's not going to. Uh musketeers are gonna come forward, four musketeers and uh, probably eight pikemen or seven model or something. But he did ship uh, seven hundred wood. What's he gonna pick up here? Villager coming forward. I don't, I don't even know what this is. I think it's 210 coin, isn't it? 160 coin. Uh, that villager going to go down from the musketeer shots, maybe. Yeah, it goes down. Uh, War Academy coming up for null. 700 wood coming in, which is the correct thing if, you, if you're rushing. Six odd lures, which is actually, I think, seven, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's seven odd lures, not six. Um, and uh, actually, that War Academy is so far away that is it going to go up? If it, if it gets spotted, it's going to go down. Um, it will go up now though, it just has enough, and, and Minutemen coming out as well. Uh, Secure at five pikes also coming out. Um, yeah, no, going down with War Academy, would expect him to get, uh, I think he's just shipped a shipment, so probably shipping a Chukunu here, which I quite like, and uh, probably be training, uh, what's he training here? Yeah, just a standard old heart, old heart army. Um, the Aztec units are terrible because they just have awful stats. They're skirmishers of like 14 range. They're not very good. Uh, they're, they're a bit like, um, they're basically like crossbowmen, basically, with faster speed. So they're just not very good. Um, what levels? Not particularly very good against TC fire um, because of their mana resist. A's uh, waiting for all those units to go down. What did Noel ship? Noel hasn't shipped anything yet. Does have a decent amount of fishing boats actually. 600 wood now coming in. Never a dock going down for A's. A's are head on. Uh, actually behind on eco when you account for the porcelain tower. But there's a lot of eco just not bunged up on that TC. Uh, actually you can take two more out and it'd be good. Um, again, would like to see Mr. Zhang being picked up by sort of a, a random Minutemen or, or random pikemen or something. Because they're not particularly useful here. There's, no, there's not going to be any hostiles coming out from A's anytime soon. A's still dropping a lot of wood. Uh, you can see 600 wood stacked, 700 wood nearly stacked from, uh, from after the, the shipments. And uh, no, actually, I, I, I like what Noel's doing here. He's defended the rush. He's um, and he still needs to pick up Mr. Zhang. That'd be pretty good. Um, but uh, but yeah, the market going up early enough, at least I guess. And uh, are you, they're actually fishing on the same pond. And uh, one thing to note about uh, Noel is he does only have the uh, the two war junks, which are actually worse than the caravels. Uh, and the dogs, apparently, uh, Margarita there, Pablo and uh, Largo there are actually scouting all of those uh, all of those villages, and actually the dock itself. Um, so I don't know who actually wins um, later game. I think it probably probably Azank wins later game with uh, with with Spain. Um, having uh, having a basically faster production on those on those docks because of schooners, and um, and, and really actually the push here for Mazank isn't going to be doing too much. Although saying that, Noel was actually going into the Keshik army, which isn't the greatest. Hey, Chukunu coming in as well as those Keshik. I know that's why he was training the Keshik. I like that now. Um, yeah, the Chukunu coming in. I'm going to use, pardon me if I do. Um, and there's a lot of Chukunu here, and not not a lot of anti, uh, sort of anti Chukunu units like cavalry or anything. He is training some dogs, I think, from that explore. Yeah, two dogs coming out. Um, does need to be careful. Dogs do particularly well against basically everything he has here because none of them counter it. Pikes actually do particularly badly against dogs. Three dogs also come again from the back. Uh, apparently, dogs are the, actually the Spanish, Spanish Spain's best unit. Uh, three dogs coming in the back for flank as well, and uh, this push here from a lot of Chukunu and a lot of units. I don't think it's going to go too well, although a couple more step riders do come in at the back, and there's not a lot of anti cav here. Uh, so actually, these step riders will do good damage against the crossbows, even though they're, they're quite weak units. And uh, no, not not changing the. Uh... Actually, but how are these dogs still alive? These two dogs have been alive the whole time, and, and Aza's going to win this fight. Um, especially seeing as uh, Noah is sort of stuck in age two. 
<laughs> Pardon me. Um. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, snatched a pebble coming in. He doesn't even have his Mr. Zhang up. Get Mr. Zhang. Um, please. So, but you can see the, the damage here. 14 and, uh, and 900 HP. If you go over here, you would have sort of Fortress Age stats with Snatch the Pebble. Uh, and he's actually been doing that. He's going to go over and pick him up. Oh, it's Mr. Hang, apparently. And it's not Mr. Zhang. Uh, sorry. Um, again, Aze is quite far ahead here. Head on score quite significantly. Um... And now even trading some hussars, which uh, China doesn't have. They don't have age to um, to cover really, except some steps, which are pretty bad. Um, oh, villager going down maybe? No, not quite. Doesn't have great cuts on those units. Uh, Mister Yang is is up uh, with that roundhouse kick. Um, dogs coming in. Uh, they're going to be doing good damage uh, again. Pikemen do particularly badly against dogs, um, just because they don't actually counter them. Uh, they do have some some melee resist, or, I guess, which makes them better than than Chukin News. And uh, Aze actually has to push back here. Uh, and once Mister Zhang's back, his his Ranos attack is is pretty strong. 190 area three is uh, is is particularly good. War two war drunks coming in here against against that caravel, which was actually made from Aze. Economic theory coming in for Spain here. Um, again, does that actually buff disciples as well? It does. Doesn't it buff, buff disciples so? Um, that card actually isn't great at this point. Honestly, nine pikemen probably would have been better. Uh, nice micro here from A's, um, utilizing the the hussars to sort of snare, allow the the cosplayer to get some shots in. Uh, that fight on the water sort of stopped. That dock is high HP. A's also got a has got a caravel in queue. Um, actually, the, the sentry minutemen coming in. Uh, where's 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 the disciples coming in as well? Would like to see that monk actually being used in the fight. Fourteen damage. Uh, as well as 190 attack on that roundhouse kick is actually quite, uh, quite significant. And uh, those disciples actually do quite well uh, when you get into sort of hand hand combat against other units. But again, uh, he's is is significantly ahead on eco now. Is actually securing this top, um, top sort of uh, pond, I guess you call it. Yeah, top pond. Um, and uh, unfortunately, not. I don't really know what's going to happen here in, in terms of late game. Uh, those disciples doing quite well. Not even utilizing the roundhouse kick yet. Does use the disciples on the house, which I quite like. Um, Mr. Zhang going down uh, nearly. Uh, how was that Rod Lewis? I don't know about said life for ages. The hustles are on the back here. And there's actually a couple of pikemen in here which will allow him to, uh, to actually stay alive. Five disciples again being trained by Mr. Zhang. And um, and actually, no, somehow getting a good trade here. I think from the added disciples, and uh, and that monk actually tanking a lot of damage, and uh, Chukunu just being better. Nine Quang Pikemen now coming in, but again, uh, A's. I think it's just in, in the spot which he want to be here. He's got the economy. He's he's got the uh, probably the better units actually now because just hustles are so good against uh, A's to China. Where those Quang Pikemen shipped to the wrong wrong place, which is is actually might lose him quite a few units here. Uh, that uh, Chinese Explorer is taking a huge amount, eight, basically 1800 HP on that Explorer when you account for range attack. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening with these units. Oh, we're in the same group as the Crossbow, that's why they're so slow. Mr. Zhang is down, did trade a couple of Disciples as well. Uh, some nice fire from those Chukunu. Nu. The fishing up the top bit actually isn't, hasn't sort of done anything. There's eight, basically eight villagers stuck in that. Uh, Place uh, another dot going down on the bottom, and uh, um, A's ahead in both military and economic unit population, and probably the better units here. Even the Cosmen do lose to Chukunu, uh, Hussars are just so good um, because there's, th there's no Musketeer units, there's no well, basically anything on the field. And and actually, at the same time, Unction now coming in, but uh, 600 export now has just been stuck in, uh, in Noel's coffers for ages. If you were to build a uh, a consulate, get sort of two. <laughs> These are being buffed, yeah. They're buffed by like 2%. These crossbows don't even get to the bonus. And uh, there's the GG coming. I like what, what uh, Noel wanted to do, but losing his explorer early on sort of killed him, I think.
It's two, apparently it's two fire ships to kill a dog. That's insane. Um, I didn't know they were that good. Look at post game. Azank actually outgathering Noel by a significant margin. Sort of a third of third, uh, half of Noel's um, half of Noel's economy. Um, basically added on to Aces Aces economy there, but it is two nil up to Azank now. Noel does get the counter pick again, and uh, we will look at the military. You know, population here. No, not trading too badly there actually, but uh, out of it, I think dogs sort of scuffed the fight. This big fight here, 31 to only 20 military population. The dogs did so well there just for A's. Uh, well, it ended up uh, winning them the game, really. We'll go into the next game when we can do. I want to see Zavacan or Yalu River or something come out, uh, which are quite interesting maps. So it's Guatemala, Indonesia, or Guatemala. So we've already had Guatemala, so it's Indonesia or uh, Guatemala. Yes. And there is Zavacan, Cerrado, or Yellow River picked from A's. Cerrado is a terrible map, uh, probably the worst map in ESOC, I think. And uh, Zavacan, I have never seen in my life. Yellow River is also pretty bad. So um, Guatemala coming in. It's quite a classic map, it does have Hazard's computer on it. And um, it is A's to pick first. Yes. Yeah, newer championship uh, rules. So A's picks first. Portugal coming out. No could China again, and China versus Portugal is like an insanely bad matchup for Portugal. So if if no China is again, I would not. I would be surprised if he didn't. Basically, um, as for AIDS, um, has to only win more, one more game. Wild game, no. I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, no, Isaac only has to uh, to to win more get one more game. No can reverse sweep again. Oh, Noel's a pretty good player. Um, at captain level twenty seven rank is is not doing him any justice to how good he actually is. Um, or how good he is if he if he plays. I don't think he really plays too often anymore. I know he's been playing a lot of Age of Empires two, as uh, uh, instead. But um, yeah, I see what see what Noel does. What more was interesting? Again, you start with a canoe, um, which uh, allows you to sort of scout the the coast of the map. Allows you to go get some. Uh, of those cows which do actually spawn in uh on this sort of i forgot what it's called now the uh well an island basically uh, enclave if you will um and uh, actually uh, as well you you can actually use the canoe to to take some treasures sometimes a lot some of the larger treasures spawn on the coast of the map canoes have 16 range and uh comparatively uh all the treasure guardians max have 15 range um so yeah, so you can actually kite with a canoe and, and sort of do damage to it. One more, as I said, do you have Seminoles on them, so it's actually quite good for China if you go for Old Han. Uh, it's an extra 20% on your, your damage. If Portuguese go for Bestieros, uh, it's quite good as well. Uh, again, here's the here's the little canoe you start with. And Noles is down there. Uh, wood, uh, the crate start on here matters quite de quite decently. Um, if you're if you're Azank here, you could you, you probably want to get a uh, food start instead of wood start, and obviously for no, you want a wood start instead. I will impart, uh, What was the question? Someone will have to uh, to ask again. It is a wood start, so this is better for Noel. Noel has a bit of an advantage here. Uh, instantly shipping with that uh, fishing with that uh, canoe. What is A's doing? A's is scouting the coast. Of course he is. Uh, this is another one you can use. Um, actually going to go get the, uh, the cows. Again, I would like to see Noel get the cows, actually. For China, they're particularly good. You put them on the, uh, on the village you have, and, and they do quite well. But he is straight, going, straight away going for the trading post. This is a weird map because it has giant salamanders, which you never normally see. Uh, that disciple does walking around. Um, not really anything to say about that. Treasure-wise, this one's quite good. 140 coin, especially good for China, actually, if you want to go for an FF. Um, what is this picking up? 50 wood, quite nice for Azak. Could probably go for a trading post if he wanted to, or uh, with these cows. If he goes to the other cows over the side, I wouldn't be surprised if Aes went for a livestock pen. He's the sort of player that would. This is a nice treasure which you can use the canoe to take, by the way. 
Um, there isn't any other series after this. Someone just asked. You could take this 130 wood um, treasure, which is really nice. So what you do is, uh, again, this canoe has uh, actually 18 range, not 16. That's more a mistake. Uh, you can utilize it to sort of kite. Uh, it takes a while, but uh, it does end up doing the job for you. Um, no, does find, what is this, 30 food. And uh, again, 140 coin now, which is nice. It's 100 wood, but it's it's uh, it's a weird one. Uh, it has a computer, but... Um, uh, some of the people in chat, I don't know what they're about. This, uh, you pick it up and you have to go collect the wood afterwards. Uh, 80 coin here. Choke your weapon, not, not too great. Even if it's not going to rush, that'd be out pretty peculiar if they did. No, just picking up sort of small 30 wood, tr 30 food treasures, not utilizing that canoe, which I don't like at all. Maybe he is, maybe he's going to use his disciple to pick, pick up the disciple, go over to get those cows. And uh, by the looks of it, I think Azank probably going to go for the wood treasure here. Does get at least one crack shot on those outlaws. And uh, by the looks of it, he's going to go for a either 11 or 12 village rage. By the looks of it, 11, he's idling the TC now, which isn't a greatest. Oh, he went for the, he, he, he ate the cows, so we can give him a, a quicker rage, which is quite nice. Um, is that going to go for a trading post? Pretty standard as ports. We picking up this 140 coin again. You can utilize this uh, this canoe. Canoes are particularly bad when fishing. Actually, uh, I think they're sort of a tenth of a um, yeah, uh, basically a tenth of a, a fish or a fishing boat, uh, which isn't the greatest. Um, is going to pick up this outlaw rifleman. And take 130 coin, 40 coin, as I said, 140 coin is particularly nice for China. No, not actually starting to age up yet. So he's aging up, not slowly, but you, what you tend to want to do is you want to tend to eat the goat as China at sort of 10 seconds, uh, three minutes and 10 seconds. So you, so you can actually get up a decent amount quicker, sort of a villager quicker. Uh, that ends up helping you with that extra 100 food. Um, he's not going to be able to do that. A's, obviously Portugal, you tend to age a bit quicker uh, because you want to get that second TP early as possible. Villager going forward, so A's, I think, going to be aggressive again. He's going to pick up the, uh, the Hazard's computer by the looks of it as um, as as Noel here. He's going to go forward and scout, I think. If we look, turn on the... Uh, there you go, turn on that instead. Uh, Noel is going to walk forward. He's going to try and scout around for a bit, try and find what's going on. Uh, we'll probably scout A's uh, villager. Uh, Barrett's going down straight away. Um, no, this time going for the uh, Forbidden Palace, I think it's called. Yeah, Forbidden Palace, which is gives you 400 food on age up, which is quite nice. That uh, Portuguese um, tower, or not tower, town centre is going to go sort of mid-map onto this, uh, this sandy surface and um, allow uh, A's to have a sort of forward base. A's deck um, not a water deck, does have a passage to nip on, uh, which is uh, five Ronin uh, Samurai, which are really strong but quite hard to use. Uh, does have the Bestiaros card, the Shitty of Tordeles, which I quite like, uh, as well as that fort, so Callum would be happy. As for Noel's deck, a bit of a peculiar deck. I like this card myself, the Ever Victorious Army. Three flying curves and eight fl uh, iron flails is really actually quite nice for China. Uh, but this is the card which is incredibly good against uh, Portugal. Uh, 26 Rattan Shields is, is actually pretty insane versus Portugal, really. Um, if we look, have a look at shipment sent, what the hell, ATP. Uh, I don't know what, what the hell's on about. Is a villager forward? I, I guess that's what he's talking about. Set a villager forward by accident. Uh, and no aging about five minutes here, which is about the same as... Um, the same as what you'd, you'd expect for China here. Did get that extra 140 coins, so China is going to be up a age up as soon as possible with that uh, 700 coin code coming in next. Uh, ATP uh, is a bit peculiar. You don't really want to go Cherokee settlement, so he basically goes ATP for, what, two two trading posts? And the third one here. I don't know what the chat is going on about, but there's a lot of pikemen here. He's going for a bit of a pike rush, or a peaky rush, if you will. I uh, would like to see the Cherokee being picked up. It does have a nice upgrade. 200 wood, 200 coin for four settlers. 
Uh, you can do this after a revolt, by the way, and it works. Um, Cherokee Riflemen. Actually, not a bad unit, actually, honestly. Uh, they're sort of just tanky versions of skirmishers with the 18 range, which are quite nice. Uh, a lot of pikemen here, but again, no one's going to be out ever so slightly. Uh, actually, a bit late now. Didn't didn't put up that force and tower too quickly. But uh, those pikemen, once you, once you get the addition of some other units, they're not going to be doing too much damage. And this Forbidden Palace, Summer Palace, probably going to get its uh, first output out in just a second. Um, actually, you can use Miss Mr. Zhang here to come forward. Uh, 700 wood now coming in, pretty standard. 700 food coming in as well um, earlier, and 600 food. So actually, he's going to be quite, a, quite an aggressive uh, build order. And uh, he's not going to get a huge amount done with it. I mean, yeah, he's going to take it over the Summer Palace, but Summer Palace is, what, four villagers. And uh, once the Porcelain Tower goes up, Ace is going to be significantly behind in the economy. Uh, that Mr. Zang character there does actually go, is going to take out a couple of pikes. And uh, amendment can be called, obviously. Town centre tower. Actually, no, nicely putting only seven in there, which is uh, the correct amount of two shot pikes, which I quite like. Um, again, I think it's going to go down. That's the palace. Um, but uh, but for the amount invested, I, I don't think it's too bad for, for Noel here. He is going to lose eight score, but that doesn't matter at all, really. And, uh, and because of this. He's going to go up a, a consulate as well. So if he can get that consulate up, get uh, get nine red coats out early. Uh, no one's going to be in a, in a pretty stellar position actually. Eight crossbow now coming coming in. Um, actually, against pikes you can go meteor hammers and kite them, uh, which is uh, one of the weirdest things you can do in the game. Kite with uh, effectively the counter unit. Um, is that consulate going to go up? That's quite important actually. If the consulate goes up, there you go. No up now. I want to see the Meteor Hammers in queue, not uh, Intervention. does go for Intervention, which is a bit of a mistake, actually. I think Meteor Hammers are probably better here. Um, but it does have the ability to score Minutemen, I guess. And uh, that Conscious does go up, which is the important thing here. The, the housing is going to go be a bit of a trouble for Null. Doesn't, it does actually have a Market Up and a War Academy up at the same time. And um, and Aza is sort of... I, think, I, I would call this an all-in for, for Portugal here, honestly. Um, and... Uh, Oh, well, that Porcelain Tower, a danger of actually dying uh, if those red coats don't come out early. Uh, needs to needs to focus on these pikes, which do all the damage, uh, not the uh, not the crossbow. Although I think Aze is uh, anticipating actually some some red coats coming out here. Actually, ten Arquebusiers coming out instead, um, which with the, with the sentries is quite nice. He wanted to get the snare there. And uh, where are the Hussars? The Hussars are behind here. Doesn't want to lose those sentries. He's, maybe he's being a bit over eager here. Does have the shipment available to him. He's, he's just said uh, intervention right now. He needs to keep these sentries and these, ch these two uh, Changdao alive. Doesn't need to push forward here. Needs to be more passive. Uh, more than anything, he doesn't want to push out with well, basically no anti-cav. Um, villagers over here, they do spot the Hussars. And look, ten, five, ten Hussars here just win the game here. No, if Noel stayed in basic, I think he would have been fine, uh, and the game would have been his. But um, but it's unfortunate. Noel gonna lose all of his Alcubus. Says we'll get a couple of shots off on the pikeman, which is what he wants to do now. Yeah, get, gets a couple of pikemen down for his trouble. Um, and but he oh nine red coats coming in at a nice place. Needs to pull them forward, or just pull the Alcubus so they don't die. And uh, A is gonna lose a couple of hussars for his efforts here. And uh, actually, because of the disciples, they're snaring. Oh, do we, I don't think disciples even snare actually. Um, uh, maybe this is a good fight for two caravels. Two caravels not doing anything. Um, this is a good fight for Noel actually. At the end of it. And now Noel is a tree. China, uh, obviously, a tree is, is really strong. Has used quite a lot of very good shipments though already. Uh, if you look at Noel's deck, does have five meteors here, eleven Chang Dao he can send, um, and Noel actually send the GG. Um, when I wouldn't say the game is particularly over now, actually. Uh, maybe he assumed Aze like, was water. I don't know, but uh, yeah, he's he's riveting sort of Noel into to a 3-0. and uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate for Noel. We can look at the military unit population here. Would have preferred again to stay in base with his Arquebusiers. If he kept those 10 Arquebusiers alive, uh, as well as, um, yeah, if he kept the, t the basically, if he kept the Arquebusiers alive, as well as the Redcoats, uh, away for, for the Redcoats, 
uh, I think he would have been fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's all for me. Uh, 